Of course, it led to the biggest discovery and triumph of my career, really, in Whitney Houston. Clive figured the daughter of Sissy Houston and the niece of Dionne Warwick could also be Barry Beggs. He approached her soon after graduation day. Clive came to showcase half hour late. <laughs> he walked in, I sang what I had, you know, did what I had to do, and uh, then he left. I didn't think that he was very excited about it or anything, but then I got a call saying that he really wanted to sign me and that he really wanted me. Clive carefully developed his young protege's repertoire. He was rewarded when Saving All My Love zoomed to the top of the charts. That was, I guess, an indication of what could be or what was going to happen. But I think that was our first big moment where we said, oh, you know, Whitney, you know, we, we talked about it. We very barely touched it, but it was like, maybe, 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 you know, maybe we can get more, you know. But that was, I think, the most exciting, you know, when your first record goes number one. Whitney Houston is the largest seller of albums in the history of the record business. The first two album sales of hers are greater worldwide than any artist in history. Uh, the first album was close to 20 million, the second album now is already 17 million. For Arista, it all adds up to a gold mine, $200 million in American sales alone. That makes Clive one of the highest paid executives in the music business.